If like us, you thought roadbook rallies were just for Dakar superheroes, Steph and I have entered the Rally Moto Blazing Saddles Challenge. It's designed for normal people on normal adventure bikes. The challenge itself comprises of six events spread around England. We're on our way to the start point of the first of six Blazing Saddle Challenges. For the first one, we picked the closest to our home, that's the Cotswold one. So these challenges are touted as the perfect thing for your adventure bike. So the sort of riding that adventure bikes are made for. That's what we're gonna find out. Are they suitable for that? Steph, however, is all about the prizes. <laughs> Each of the challenges is ridden using a roadbook navigation just like standard rallies there are speed penalties navigation penalties waypoint penalties and if you achieve three of the six challenges you get a blazing saddles t-shirt or we do love a t-shirt however with the eyes on the big prize if you complete all six challenges you get a dust devils hoodie <laughs> as much as we love t-shirts we love hoodies even more So we're uh, just arriving at the start point. Rally Bags have started the route at what looks to be a very nice cafe. Yeah, a lovely cup of coffee and a bite to eat at the cafe. And just turning on tracker for the road book. That sends uh, data to Rally Moto who track it and they calculate speed infringements and navigation issues, missed waypoints, all that sort of stuff, and then total up the score. And we're looking for a good score because we've already seen how much Steph wants a hoodie. <laughs> so this is our first track of the day. Oh, it looks a cracker. I'm kind of forgetting, I'm supposed to be looking at navigation as well. Well, I think it, it just sort of said keep going straight oh, okay. until we reach the road, so... Another quintessential Cotswold village. What's it after slaughter, right? Yeah, I think so, it's one of the slaughters. Whereabouts is the oil leak? Thanks very much. Thank you, cheers. I think we there is actually a footpath. We'll probably just go over that footbridge. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> I'm having to really duck down low here. <laughs> I hate ruts. Steph, however, weirdly doesn't mind ruts at all. She's like a, a little rut whisperer. Can I tell you something? I'm warming up. <laughs> yes, it is definitely getting warmer now. Oh no, we're back to our standard. Talking about uh, temperatures. Talking about temperatures, yeah. <laughs> For those who've watched any of our Iceland videos or through the Alps, we are weirdly obsessed with temperature. Hi there, thank you. Morning, thank you. Thanks.
get forward ahead at 14.1 kilometers. Ah, here it is. Okay, so this is a forward, and in the in the road book it has a caution. There's a step down, which I can see. Now we're just walking it because look, I'm not saying the world's most dangerous forward. It's actually but, nowhere near as deep as it can be. Although I have wet feet. Yeah. That this has claimed a couple of bikes in the past and the odd injury uh, with stuff at the bottom. So. A quick walk, it's pretty shallow today. Oh yes, it opens that. I don't wanna get a vision of you stuck in my head because I know that you were meant to be wilder. Another night of television while you're lying in bed is slowly gonna be the death of you. Have you ever really lived? You talk a big game, but it's just a matter of time. We found a lovely open spot and took advantage of it for a quick break and a leg stretch. It was nice to have a little leg stretch, but we were soon on our way again. Morning. Hi, thank you. Ask yourself this once. Have you ever really lived? Be honest now. Just be honest. Is this really how you want to be? Oh, no, no, we'll go through. Yeah, but thank you. That whole fat was because he was getting off the bridge because he thought we were going to go across the oh, bridge. Oh, bless him! <laughs> it ain't too late to turn it around. So I know we've got uh, quite a few American subscribers and uh, we're just very jealous of you guys over in the States with all your land to ride in. Here in the UK and Europe in general, it's, uh, it's much more restricted. Hence, uh, I joy at not coming across many gates. Normally, it's gate after gate after gate. What a fantastic route for, uh, for the postie. Oh yeah, there's like a proper little village down here. For everybody's benefit, that scream in the headset was uh, Steph <laughs> finding her waypoint I in the middle of that triangle. I lost sight of her again, so she's up ahead somewhere. There she is, peering out of the foliage. I'm glad I'm not in his shoes because I'm free. I 
I've just got to stop and get many bugs yeah. out of my face and put my visor down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very tricky to stand up, isn't it? Yeah. So, for everybody watching this video, you're going, oh, dry your eyes, princess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was quite tough going. A gorgeous house. One straight ahead. Yeah, well, on the right. They're all beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. I don't want to work for anyone but me. That's my biggest plan forever. Oh, a couple of jinks. There's a caution at 12.56. Seat downhill. So no. Ah, the gate is very much broken. Okay, is it open? Yeah, and ah. open. It's like someone's just driven straight into it, actually. <laughs> um, they probably could have stopped. I was just they? about to say that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, somebody's not been able to stop. <laughs> That's funny. Well, as we approach the end of the first Blazing Saddles, we've already actually ridden the second one, we just uh, haven't got the video together yet. And if you like the first one, you're going to love the second one. It was pretty eventful. Anyway, if you did enjoy the videos and you'd like to know when the next one is out, it would be fantastic if you could subscribe and uh, give us a big thumbs up. Thanks very much. But for now, we'll see you next time.